Hello and welcome to the first of a series of videos on Family Story in 6. Those of you moving from an earlier programme will recognise much of this as very similar to Family Story in 5, with the exception that we've got a whole raft of new icons and not only that, we've got a lot of new functionality. In this video I'm going to explore the first one of those, which is some ex useful enhancements to the media window. So let's look at the very first option, which is I can now drag and drop media. And I can drag and drop a whole raft of media or just a single file from any other program, including the web browser, in here and hit the drop button. OK, what Family Historian's done now is to ping up a list with all the photographs that I've currently got in my system, which aren't actually linked to anything. So this is the one I've just added. It's automatically giving it a name, which is the same as my file title. So I can go through and tidy that up. I can put an approximate date in. And if I want to, I can add in a note. All I can do next is to simply pick up my photograph. And then I'm going to use an option which is not shown when you start the program, but it's probably the most useful of the tabs. So what you can see here at the moment is we've got our people and now we want to add some links. And I can switch between the media record and the links tab. And as you can see, there's nobody there at the moment. Now there's one extra tool which has been added in this version, which is the media link tool. And I'd recommend, although it's turned off by default, the first thing you do is to go and turn it on. Here's my media link tool. And you can immediately see that we've got the new filtering, which I'll cover in a separate video. But what it simply means is I can type in crab, James, and instead of just positioning two as the old program would do, it's actually gone and listed only the what crabs in my file that have start with James. And the next thing that you'll notice is when I click on him, I've now got a list of his parents, his siblings, his spouses and his children. So this means that it can be very quick to add people. So what I can do now, I can either work in the old fashioned way, which is to add a frame link, or I can just take the name and drop it onto the picture. And I can add a frame link to James Crabb and quickly draw my link round. And I can carry on, so I can say this is Nelly Record. This is Irene Crab. And really, that's all there is to it. It is much, much quicker than the old method, but it's just one of the great enhancements in version 6.